Hi, this is David Ricks from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and I'm doing a three-step part of our group on the Petzl Chicane friction brake to be paired with the zigzag. So um, this right here, the gold and black, is what ships in the box, and you will need to purchase a Petzl H-frame carabiner separately. So this does not come with this, you need to purchase it separately. Um, and this fits, this chicane has grooves in it that fit the H-frame carabiners perfectly uh, to allow minimal movement in the device. So that pops on there and you can't rotate that, which is necessary for this to work properly. So uh, before I talk about this, I did use the zigzag with a rope wrench for a while and really liked that. Um, and a traditional tether, and I just used a quickie to put that in there. And um, just to show a little comparison on what these look like together, um, that's what was my typical setup with a quickie in here. And here is the size comparison. The chicane's a little bit taller. This is the standard tether from Tree Stuff. Um, it's a little bit taller, and it does stick out a little bit more because of the handle on this thing. Um, but just like some of the other reviewers out there, I really like the ability to collapse this and collapse that at the same time to go on limb locks, which you can easily do with the rope wrench. That's the one drawback with the chicane. You can't do that because you can't reach both of them, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, that said, this is wonderful. Um, it's smooth. This is smoother. And uh, there's something about um, the way the plastic and the aluminum in here, it's actually much smoother than this. I did not want to like this as much as I do for reasons you all know about, but it's a wonderful device. And I think paired, this is the older zigzag, paired with any zigzag, it's really nice. So it's got two buttons that you pop it open, close it up, and then there you go, and it's set in there. And like I was talking about before, you know, effortlessly up and down, just like what you'd expect with a rope wrench attached to it, but you can't really collapse all, because this doesn't move, you can't easily collapse everything on long limb box. So you kind of have to hold it here and then move your hands there to feet slack out of it. It also comes into play, maybe you're, you're changing your, from a base anchor to a canopy anchor. That's gonna be a source of frustration for you if you're used to using the rope wrench or the rope runner or some other device. A lot of people uh, avoid that just by opening it up and then feeding slack, but that's just one more step where these other devices, you didn't have to do that. Um, that said, it is so smooth, rope walking, and rappelling down in general work positioning that I think it's worth it if you have a zigzag to pair it with.